Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a MIDI controller with arcade buttons. This uses the Raspberry Pi Pico to make a USB MIDI controller that features 16 LED arcade buttons. The Raspberry Pi Pico is a low-cost microcontroller with a powerful new chip, the RP2040. It features tons of GPIO and it has CircuitPython support. The AW9523 is an I2C GPIO expander and an LED driver that features 16 I.O. pins. This lets us drive all of the LEDs so we won't run out of pins on the Raspberry Pi Pico. As a native USB MIDI device, it can work with both hardware and software that have MIDI support. The electronics are housed in a 3D printed case and it features a handle that doubles as a kickstand. We designed the case in three parts that snap fit together so it's easy to pop it open and close it up. We think it looks a bit like a lunchbox. What makes this different from other MIDI controllers is the ability to change and save MIDI notes directly on the device. It features an OLED display and a joystick so you can quickly remap MIDI notes, which is great if you're crafting your own setup. The buttons are shown as circles with numbers that represent the MIDI notes. You can use the joystick to select a button. It works just like a D-pad from a game controller. You can press the center of the joystick and select the button to edit the MIDI note. In edit mode, the button will blink letting you know that it's been activated. You can then change and update the note to go higher or lower using the joystick. While in edit mode, you can also press the buttons to compare the MIDI notes. The handle is 3D printed as a single part and it features two built-in hinges. It's a print-in-place part that doesn't need any support material. The hinges are able to freely rotate and it features mounting holes for attaching to the case. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see this available as a kit. The parts can be 3D printed without any support material using PLA filament. We designed the case in Fusion 360 and used 3D models of the electronics and components. It's a parametric design that features user parameters so it's easy to make adjustments. We've open sourced the design so folks can modify, remix, and customize it. The code for this project was written by Liz Clark. You can check out her projects on her YouTube channel, Blitz City DIY. This uses the MIDI library for CircuitPython and it features lots of comments so it's great for folks who are just getting started with programming. The code walkthrough by Liz is very well documented and it breaks down all the features so you can learn how to customize it. We hope this inspires more folks to get into programming electronics with CircuitPython. Be sure to check out our learn guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building the project. The learn guide has the code, wiring diagrams, and CAD files so you can follow along and make your own. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.